Hello there. Okay, I'm here with a video on how to make a platform game in Godot. Okay, we'll be using Godot Pro. Uh, 4.2.1 currently I'm using that so for, the, for this game we'll use assets from Kenny Kenny is a wonderful website where you can get assets with license CC0 that you don't have to even attribute them okay so we'll be using this platformer art extended uh, platformer pack redux here there are the players and in image and we'll be using this background this this asset as well as we'll be using this on screen control asset okay so you can look for it and download it yourself or go to kenny the dnl okay yeah so let's get started so first uh, i'll create a new uh, let's browse it. I like it to be in here. New games. Let's create a folder called Godot. Godot platform. Whatever name you want. Select this. Godot. Let the name of the game be Godot platform. Uh, yeah, in the compactable mode. Okay. There I have encountered few issues in the mobile mode as well so just just compactable one create and edit that's it so first thing uh, what i like to do is copy those downloaded assets i have already downloaded this three one into a new project so that's it in the new game uh, go to the platform, go to the platform with uh, okay. Here, let's create another folder ASSETS assets and let's have it here. Okay, yeah, we will we don't need all these, but yeah, let me let all these be here. We can also simply remove all these things because we are, we are not gonna use this in the game. Also, we won't be using these vectory stuffs as well. Uh, we'll be using spreadsheet yeah we'll sometimes use a spreadsheet and we'll sometimes use the individual images so yeah they are duplicate sometimes but for the simplicity let's let it be here let all these be here for now yeah you the check if you have to check license is it cc0 okay and yeah we don't have to include this license as well we don't have to but yeah since i already attributed it no orange mm, and yeah let's claim up all of these as well <laughs> let's remove the vector one from here and yeah it's nice of him to provide the vector image as well so yeah we if anything we need to make the change we can do it ourselves yeah yeah, let all those be included and we'll start with uh, main menu. Main, I mean, main menu. So how, how I would like to structure my polar structure is I'll create a polar call SCE any -E scenes. So I'll like to have a polar called screen it's for the individual screen and yeah we'll create another other as required okay so in this uh, let's simply add a button uh, let's center it let's scale let's make it label zero whatever Enter it again, save it in the scenes in the screen, main menu, save. Okay, so whenever I use a click this button, I'll like to restart our level zero. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, level zero will be a, a, a level. Well, we'll 
practice will implement all those things we want to implement in the game uh, it won't be that great but yeah let's create another folder called labels I will implement anything we'll experiment all these tutorial will be under label zero okay uh, okay so whenever the user click button we have yeah about the interface layout there are lots of videos defining that okay I, I didn't go much on, the, on those details so uh, when we add a button what we can do is we can listen the signal and the press event connect that press event to our script but first we have to include the script here so let's create the script that's it in the button whenever something is pressed what we want to do is connect this button to this script and what we want to do is get get tree and change and this could seem to file and the file is label zero okay yeah that's it at least for now mm, label zero and we'll have our player here so let's run the game uh, okay select oh yeah and level zero will take us to this one that's that's the basic basic layout okay and yeah i'll have this code in the github and show you the code and next what we're gonna do is start with is uh will you start with uh we'll start using tile maps then we'll look something called parallax and then we'll introduce our player okay in the next video i'll do three things i'll introduce you the tile map and how we how we can tile our ground that kind of thing then we'll i'll add the player then uh, there is a bit complex uh, not much complex but something interesting uh, about that parallax effect i'll introduce that and we'll add that parallax effect in the home page as well and in the label page as well okay so we'll know how to separate scenes and divide stops that kind of thing okay